So it's kind of a rainy, gloomy day here in Memphis today, and it got me thinking about the wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald for some reason. And I thought I'd show you how to play it on the ukulele, and uh, I'll also show you real quick on the guitar when we're done with the ukulele. So um, this song has a bunch of really kind of odd, haunting chords to it. Um, and so I'll just go ahead and show you what they are and how I play them. The first one's an A sustained two, and this, this chord is played with your index finger all the way across all the strings on the second fret. And then you're going to take your ring finger and uh, use it on the third string on the fourth fret. And then your pinky finger on the fifth fret of the second string. Okay, so if I can get that finger there out of the way, it's going to be like that. And then it has, and then it goes to an A11, which we're going to uh, leave our index finger down here, lift these fingers up, and we're going to put our middle finger down on the second or the uh, second string on the third fret. And then it's going to go to D sustain four, which what we're going to do is we're going to leave this finger here on the third fret. On the previous chord, we're going to leave the, the middle finger where it's at, and we're going to lift up our finger that we've been borrowing with and we're going to use it on the second fret of the fourth string. And then we're going to go to a D and again this finger, our index finger is going to stay where it's at. This is nice because your thumb uh, on the back of the neck doesn't have to move for any of these chords. We're kind of staying in this, this uh, uh, position here, this hand position. So first finger across the second fret, lift up all your fingers and then you're going to use your pinky finger or your ring finger whichever one you can reach with for me it's going to be my my pinky finger on the fifth fret of the first string for our D okay the other chords that it has in it are an E minor which is um, I call it the it's kind of a stair step chord it's just one on the first finger on the second fret of the first string second finger on the third fret of the second string, third finger on the fourth fret of the third string. So it's just one, two, three. It has so, and it also has a G. Which is, uh, if you're not familiar with G, look at the, look at the chord thing over here. Alright, so let me show you how the intro goes real quick. I'll show you how the verses go. I'm not going to play the whole song, that way you don't have to suffer through uh, my playing and singing ability, but uh, it, it goes like this. We're going to start off with this A sustain 2. And then we're going to go back to the A sustain 2, to the A11. D and then back to the A sustain 2. And then the, the verses go to this A sustain 2. It's a it's the same chord progression throughout the whole song. So if you learn it for one line, you've got it for the whole song. You just do it over and over and over and over again. Uh, and then you do the intro uh, chord progression in between the verses. So it's gonna go uh, like this. The legend Chippewong down by the big lake they call it Chagumi. And it's the same thing over and over and over again. The A sustain 2, the E minor, the G, the D, and then back to the A sustain 2. And you just keep doing that over and over and over again. And then, uh, in, and then um, I've got some music I'm going to post here to the Memphis Ukulele Flash Mob group, uh, the, the PDF of how to play it with the chords and the words and everything. Um, so if you're finding this on YouTube and you want uh, the word or the, uh, the document version with all the chords and verses and words all figured out for you, um, you can probably find it in the Memphis Ukulele Flash Mob uh, group on Facebook. Um, so we'll post that up there so if you want to play the whole song you can do that but that's uh, real quick how to do it on the ukulele let me show you real quick how to do it on the guitar and then we'll be done for the day so uh, obviously the same chords on the guitar 
uh, for the guitar, this A sustain 2 is going to be the uh, on the second fret of the third and fourth string. The A11 is a stair step chord position. It's going to be the third fret of the second string, um, the fourth fret of the third string, and the fifth fret of the uh, fourth string. And then the D sustain 4 is a D chord with your pinky dropped on the third fret of the first string. And then to play the D, you just lift your pinky up. So it goes like this. repeats uh, the same chord progression. So at any rate, hopefully that helps you out and you enjoy this song, especially on a rainy, gloomy day.